welcome and today I want to look at this picture and a few other pictures and what is this place apparently this is a theme park just being built and back here we see a, an amazing cathedral and here a spire on this building and a lot of scaffolding and buildings that look already completed here as well apparently brand new construction a famous theme park that many of you perhaps have visited constructed from swamplands and you won't believe where this is this is Walt Disney World and just this whole swampland really fascinating with these little islands everywhere and artificial peninsulas and perhaps being something much older perhaps being the stronghold for something older and these swampy kind of lagoons reminded me of a lot of these blast zones where we do see signs of ancient people and here recently I was just looking on the Google Earth at this area in Russia and this area in Russia you know, would be akin to Alaska right here and according to many of the ancient maps and even not so ancient we find civilization up here and being a Tartarian stronghold and what do we see today when we look in these northern regions is thousands upon thousands of crater marks and little lakes to no end and recently in a comment I was prompted to have a little peek at this area and sure enough much does seem artificial and very mysterious and as much as I looked for signs of civilization this could be some kind of civilization that we don't even understand and whereas you know I am naturally wanting to look for square type of ruins and perhaps like the ruins in New Mexico at Chaco Canyon these could be a round building people or who knows I mean everything could be just completely wiped out but we do see what seems like unnatural aspects and so weathered and so bombarded and almost seeming like there's water underneath the earth like this land is just floating on this water and somehow these have just been shredded the whole landmass shredded and here's a good example of something just not seeming so natural and forgive me I don't know why it's not coming in clearly perhaps this is blocked and again reminding me of what we see here in this magic kingdom and I won't say that I know I don't know but I found it interesting and I had never seen these pictures of the supposed construction and of course all of this seems pretty ridiculous but when we consider the World's Fair in all parts of the world of the early 1900s, late 1800s, this too is how things were presented to them. This is a theme park. This was built for you to enjoy. And recently, I saw a fascinating video out of Russia and it showed 
these old world's fairs. And it showed better pictures than I'd ever seen, depicting a crowded and unnatural seeming scene, and people looking more awkward than ever and seeming as if this was an introduction to their new world. Almost the first exposure to this new place that they would be living. And all kinds of people from all parts of the world unnaturally seeming placed in this situation. And one of the most fascinating things was the passport that he showed. Apparently they had passports. And even though I couldn't understand what he was saying, I found it fascinating. You know, these passports seemed much more invasive than just a passport for an event, like a Disneyland. They seemed as if they were their actual identifications. Being issued here as if this was a docking area, a type of Ellis Island in New York City, a place where people come from all over, or not, or perhaps from a single place, and are introduced to this new paradigm. And these seem like the first wave of this modern civilization that we're living in. And here he's showing a World's Fair and what looks like the burning. And here this is uh, Chicago, it must be, the White City. And absolutely impeccable in every way. And here we're seeing the visitors of the World's Fair I mean, this is just absolutely ridiculous, the, the packing in of the people. Who would voluntarily find themselves in this mess of people? And yet, we're told, people gathered from all over the world. It's been said that the population of this World's Fair was more than half of the country. And even today, people wouldn't turn out to an event in this magnitude. And very strange, very out of place, and almost seeming like grown orphans brought in on these orphan trains, just very used to being schlepped around here on the roof of the train. A people that are comfortable being herded around like cattle as if this is how they were raised and now they have finally been rewarded they have finally graduated and are set free into some kind of system all the same hats the same issue few people having different hats this looks like Teddy Roosevelt, and even in this depiction, a lot of mixed messages here. And here we can see the people from all over the world with their flags. And this city that is beyond comprehension, built in 1893 for a World's Fair, and most of this was torn down, all but uh, a few buildings. And even again, like we were just looking at, the infrastructure of the waterways. Forget about the buildings, as if that's not impressive enough. But these waterways and just amazing, you know, the complete building of land, like we just saw in the earlier pics we were looking at and a lot of these piers found all throughout the coastlines of every country 
these artificial sandbars that I've shown in past videos. And here again, just seeming so awkward and out of place. And not really seeming like they traveled all across the world to visit this place. And really seeming to have a dual purpose. A, we're introducing the new people to the new world. And these people will believe whatever story they've been told, if they've just been reintroduced. And B, to create a photographic record of this event, only to be pushed for a great time later. And again, if this is just being built, very unlikely. No, this seems like an older civilization. And here we see spires in the background, things that have nothing to do with the World's Fair, clear back here. Just amazing and ridiculous. And everything actually seeming a little top-heavy. This cathedral seeming top-heavy as if there's another two floors underneath. Same here with this building. And with these grand, grand structures. And perhaps this whole land. And all we're seeing is the tops, as usual. And just a remarkable, remarkable building. And these people are so primitive in comparison to this glory. This was the capital of a great people. And there's no need for these people to even have such a building of this fashion. And here the machinery hall. Again, we have to consider these people and their needs. All of this outweighs the needs of their simplicity in this supposed time period. And here again I've shown this, the Philly Please Touch Museum, in another video. And really unusual, again, the packing of people in a very awkward fashion. And there's just no way that the designations that were given for these buildings, be it World's Fair or Museum, are true. These are greater than our needs are today in this time period. Most certainly in that time period. The Horticultural Hall. You could have called this anything and the people would have believed it. The palace, the cathedral, and perhaps there were so many in one particular location, something had to be done. In the case of these fairs, here again the Please Touch Museum in Philly, just a work of wonder. And really interesting, that figure on the top reminded me of something that I saw in a comment recently talking about the figure at the National Capitol in Washington and she was a beautiful what seemed like Native American type figure holding a sword and not seeming like the type of thing that we would put on such a building. Really just a, a display of the world, of all of the pillaged artifacts and statues. And here again, the builders. You know, let's have a look at these builders. Here this man apparently sculpted this. Here's his little figurine, which we always see in the old world, always the small initial 
creation. And here again, I really want to focus on these guys. I mean, here are, here's the builders. I mean, just think about what I just showed, and here you go. I'm just always amazed at these pictures of the actual creators or supposed creators here almost looking like children working on this and now let's have a look at this reset passport you know again these people that have been brought in here and now we see this overly intrusive World's Fair Pass. Now I have heard that the World's Fairs did have little passports. My mother actually told me she went to the World's Fair in Montreal, I believe it was, or Quebec. And in fact my parents met at a World's Fair. But I found this very interesting. The holder of this pass must deposit with gatekeeper. Personal card with above number, date, and his signature. And very interesting when we look at the eye color possibilities. We have blue, brown, and gray. No clear conclusions. Only interesting puzzle pieces today. More just sharing my research. And I want to thank you all for watching, and do have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And here again, the please don't touch, or I'm sorry, scratch that.